Hey guys, what's up? So I noticed that in a lot of people's New Year's resolutions, they state that they want to begin reading more books. So today I thought I'd share some tips on how to develop a good reading habit. Please keep in mind that the things I'm about to say here are my personal tips, so they may or may not work for you. Either way, I still hope you guys will enjoy watching this video. Well then, let's start! We all know how easy it is to get distracted by our gadgets, especially when we are doing something that we don't really want to do. So before you start, make sure you've gotten rid of all the gadgets that may distract you from reading. Choose a book that is easy to read. When you first start reading, it's best not to choose a book that is too thick or a classic book with a lot of complex words in it because it will most likely turn you off from reading and make you close the book before you even finish the first page. I recommend choosing a light novel or a book with some pictures in it. When I first decided to start reading English books, I chose the Mary Kate and Ashley detective novel series. Each novel contains less than 100 pages, not to mention the texts are big and easy to read. And the content is also very light and easy to understand since it is targeted towards teenagers. It also has bonus pictures and detective tips and tricks inside, so I was always looking forward to reaching that page when I read the novel. When I felt like I was ready to start reading something a little bit more difficult, I chose to read the Emily the Strange novels. They have a lot of pictures in it, which keeps the readers from getting bored, and they are written in the style of a personal diary. So even though the words used there are more difficult than the ones in the Mary Kate and Ashley novels, they were still understandable for a non-native English speaker like me. I then gradually moved to different books with a higher complexity level until I'm finally able to read classic novels. So start out by reading light books that you find interesting and easy to understand. Once you get the hang of reading, you can then move on to reading thicker and more complex books, if that is what you are interested in. If not, then you can always stick to reading simple books. It all depends on your preference. My favorite place to read is in my bathroom, either at my desk or on my bed. I like it here because it's my quiet personal space that is free from distractions by other people. But of course, it doesn't mean that I can only read my books whenever I'm in my room. I can always read my books everywhere I want, but this is just the most comfortable spot for me. Some people also like to read in a coffee shop or in a library or someplace else. It's different for everyone. So make sure to find a good spot to begin reading so you can concentrate better and feel more comfortable. It doesn't have to be hours and hours. You can just set, for example, 15 minutes a day to read a book. You can also read at a specific time every day, for example, before going to bed or right after you go home from school. A few minutes a day may seem little, but it will eventually build up over time and you will be able to finish reading one book in no time. It's better than to set an impossible time to read every day and procrastinating afterwards and end up not reading the book at all. You can also dedicate one day a week for reading and finish the book you want to read on that day. It's a great way to disconnect from your gadgets every once in a while and indulge yourself in your books. When you have a book you want to read, put it on your to-be-read list and as soon as you're done reading it, mark it off your list. It will make you feel more accomplished and it is a great way to keep track on what you've read so far. I put my reading list on goodreads.com and on my bullet journal. Aside from keeping a record of my reading, I can also rate the books and write some reviews if I have the time. A book club will give you the motivation to read regularly and finish the book you're reading. It will also give you a good recommendation to read, oftentimes a genre that you've never tried reading before. Plus, it's also fun discussing the books you've read with your friends. It's a great way to socialize and keep your memories of that book fresh and intact. If you can't find any book clubs near you, try searching for one online or just create one with your friends. I've personally never joined a book club myself, but I have joined a scriptures club and it definitely motivates me to read the verses every day. You don't always have to use paper books, you can also use Kindle or audiobooks if you prefer. Audiobooks is great if you're constantly on the go. I personally prefer reading paper books though, but to each their own. If you happen to start reading a book and a few pages later you feel uninterested in the content, then you don't have to finish reading it. Remember that reading is a hobby, not a chore. Unless you're reading for class, then that's a whole different story. I've had a couple of books that I've never finished reading because I was just not interested in the story. And that's okay! There are a lot more books you can read out there and not finishing one book is not the end of the world. It makes you smarter and it broadens your knowledge and view of the world. I know for sure that I wouldn't be the person I am today if it weren't for all those self-enrichment books that I've read. 
It's a productive way to spend the time while you're waiting for something. I used to always bring reading books to school with me, and I would read them whenever the teachers weren't able to come to class. Even though I still bring a book with me everywhere I go, so if I have to wait for someone or something, for example when I'm at the dentist, or when I'm waiting for my friend who is always late to arrive at our designated place and time, <laughs> subtle shit, <laughs> I can just read my book instead of playing with my cell phone aimlessly. So those were some of the tips I have on how to start reading regularly. I hope you guys found them helpful. If you have any other tips you'd like to add, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, just a reminder, I have a second channel now, and you can check it out by clicking here or just follow the link in the description box below. And thank you very much for those of you guys who have followed me on my social medias. If you haven't and if you want to, the links are also in the description box below. Also, if you guys have any requests on what video you'd like me to make next, then please let me know in the comments as well. By the way, I remember someone asking in the comments before on why I always bounce like this on my videos and it's because I film my videos on my bed so every slight movement that I make will make me bounce like this so that's why Woo. so that's all for me today guys thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for those of you who have subscribed to me if you haven't then be sure to click on my face below don't forget to like this video and share with your friends if you enjoyed watching it and I will see you on my next one. Have a nice day everyone. Bye bye. Bounce, bounce, ba bounce, bounce.